Well, my talk was entitled The Myth of Long-Term Investment in Innovation. And I started with the assumption that lots of people have that you have to invest in very long-term innovation opportunities in order to provide revenues for the future. And my contention is that there are actually alternatives to that. Uh, one alternative is to wait and see, to see what competitors do and to apply a follower strategy. And the other alternative is to acquire through markets, as through transactions with smaller entrepreneurial firms, opportunities that are well validated. And both of those strategies can be, can be more efficient than doing everything yourself. Um, you can think about it, about an innovation system as an ecosystem. And if you could take the perspective, let's say it's a fishery, you could take the perspective of the fishery manager, who's, who, what they care about is that the fishery is, is healthy, right? That there are a lot of healthy fish. Or you could take the perspective of the fish, where what you care about is your individual survival. And that analogy relates to innovation in that if you take the perspective of the venture capitalist or of the corporation as a whole or of the uh, government, then what you care about is the health and vitality of the whole system. Whereas if you're the entrepreneur or you're the project manager, what you care about is does your particular project succeed and thrive? And in reality, innovation systems have to accommodate both points of view. Well, an, an innovation tournament is an organizational problem-solving mechanism in which a large number of raw opportunities are identified, and then they're systematically developed and filtered until only the exceptional opportunities are identified. And if you think about it, those filters are really portfolio management decisions. The filters are where you decide what you're going to invest in and what you're going to pause or not invest in. And that's really how portfolios interact with innovation tournaments.